Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to walk you through three things that you necessarily will have to do before you start your GRE preparation, before you start your GRE preparation. Often times, we dive into something and midway through, we'll realize that, hey, I should have done this differently. I should have factored this thing into picture, right? So these are things that we realize halfway through a journey into some activity. And at that point in time, course correction is possible, but course correction is always painful and it is costly. So to avoid such a predicament, I want you to do these three things before you start your GRE preparation. The first of the things that you need to do is take a GRE diagnostic test. There are two important benefits that you get by taking the GRE diagnostic test. First and foremost, you get an idea about the lay of the land. You know what's a sentence equivalence question. You know what a select one or more answers question is. You know how a quantitative comparison question is framed, right? You get to take a test. The test that's available typically should be a full length verbal section and should be a full length quant section. A verbal section is for 30 minutes and a quant section is for 35 minutes. So you invest this one hour, five minutes into understanding how the GRE's different question types are. So it gives you first hand experience about what these question types are. Second, it tells you one very important thing. It helps you estimate your strengths and weaknesses. You might say, hey, I'm an engineer, therefore I'm strong in quant. That's good, but even within quant, you need to know certain things. I'm good in algebra and arithmetic, but I have serious problem with when it comes to questions which are similar triangle questions, which are questions which talk about chords and tangents with circles. Right? So knowing what is your strength and weakness within each of these subset is going to be important. And it also lets you know certain things. For example, when it comes to, let's say, verbal, you might be someone who reads voraciously that you're good in reading comprehension. You aced all of the questions that came as a reading comprehension format question but you really had problem when it came to sentence equivalence questions. And it's not because you did not know the meaning of the words, but you had difficulty with the prepositions that were used and therefore to figure out which is a better answer to plug it into, right? So these kinds of nuances you'll be able to understand. So two benefits. One, you get to know the different question types. Two, you get to know what your strengths and weaknesses are as you start your GRE preparation. That way, you'll be able to tweak your GRE preparation if you're really good in arithmetic and algebra just quickly skim through it and come out of it. There's no point investing too much time in an area where you're strong at. You might as well invest time in the quantitative section when it comes to in the geometry, provided geometry is your weak area. Similarly, if reading comprehension is your strong point, you'll continue reading a bit, you'll answer reading comprehension passages whenever you take a mock test, but you'll focus on your vocabulary building and on the usage of words so that you ace the sentence equivalence and text completion. There's another aspect to it also. Most of us know that 320 plus is a good score in the GRE. 330 is a great score in the GRE out of the 340. If you're really good in quant, as many engineers tend to be, you'll say that, hey, I can ace the quant section. I'll get a 168 to 70 as far as the GRE quant goes. And I'll probably get a 158 to 160. That is what I'm going to gun for. So you'll even divide the time that you invest into your preparation, saying that I'll give 35 to 40 percent of the preparation for quant, and I'll invest 60 percent or 65 percent into verbal. So those tweaks you can do. You might be someone who is appearing for a literature major, that English is a strong point and you need to work on your math and you'll probably swap this. You'll probably invest 35% of the time or probably even lesser when it comes to your GRE verbal preparation. You'll invest close to 75% of your time in the quant preparation. So these ideas come to you by virtue of taking a diagnostic test. Where do you get to take this diagnostic test? We have a diagnostic test. Vizako offers a free diagnostic test to everyone. Sign up at this place, wzko.pro slash diagnostic or online portal provides you with a full length quant and a full length verbal GRE diagnostic test. 20 questions of each for 35 minutes for quant and 30 minutes for verbal. The moment you take the test, you get to know your score, what your score in this, how many write, what is the time duration you took, right? You get a basic analytics about your performance. You also get video solutions for all the questions. Therefore, if something went wrong, you'll understand how to solve it, right? All of that is available. On top of it, I'm also throwing in a bonus. From the email ID that you use to sign up to take this diagnostic test, shoot a mail to us, right? Send a mail to us at learn at .com saying that give me detailed study plan. All that you need to say is taken the GRE diagnostic test, give me a detailed study plan. One of our tutors will look at your score, will give you a detailed analysis of how well you have done, where you need to focus on and how you should go about your preparation. We'll send you a detailed study plan from in 48 hours from the time we receive your mail, right? That's a bonus that we throw in for you. This is the first thing that you need to do. The second thing that you need to do is basically build a reading habit. I'm not sure if you're aware of it. The verbal section, there are two verbal sections for anyone who takes the GRE. 
half the questions in the verbal section approximately are basically reading comprehension questions. So, 10 out of these 20 questions are basically reading comprehension questions and you get to do approximately about 10 passages in the two sections that 40 questions 2 into 20 of which 20 of them are reading comprehension questions which would comprise approximately about 10 passages. Many of these passages are one paragraph passages, one would be probably a multiple paragraph passage right. So, this is the makeup of what you have. So, to crack half of your verbal section of the GRE verbal section, what you need to do is ensure that you have a good reading habit. Good reading habit, we read fiction, we read newspaper, we do all of these things, there are different kinds of reading. The GRE RC passages typically tend to be things which are academic in nature, could be physical sciences, biological sciences, could be astronomical sciences, could be mathematic related passages, could be economic and business. So, these are typically things which are dry reading. When you look at a newspaper and read, you try to pick things that are of interest to you. you. might be interested in politics, you might be interested in sports. So, we pick those areas of interest and read. So, our grasp is a lot better for it. Whereas, the passages that you get to read here are not necessarily things of interest to you. It might be about like what happens if the mercury levels in ocean goes up and they will be doing an analysis of it. It might be about nanobots. You may or may not be interested in that topic, but you need to comprehend it and make sense out of it. So, widen the scope of your reading, read different types of content, not the same kind of content, not sports, not just cricket, not just football, not just FIFA, not just what is happening in politics, Hollywood, Bollywood. You need to expand the scope, right? The width of your reading needs to be much better than what it is right now. It can give you a good source to start with. There is something called visreads.com. It is a curated list of GRE reading articles. We keep posting these articles very frequently, two to three times a week, we keep suggesting articles for people to read and this curated list is available here for anyone to take it. You do not even have to log in, it is available for you to do it. Think of it as a starting point, this is not the end of it. You have a bunch of articles, hundreds of articles for you to read already as a collection and you can also sign up on our Twitter handle or on our Instagram handle that you get a nudge to read whenever we add new articles every week. Every week, we send you two to three whiz read suggestions, right? Increase your reading habit increase the width of your reading habit, half your verbal journey is done, right? You have to just focus on the remaining half only in terms of a preparation. Two things done. What is the third thing that you need to do? Basically, take help for your GRE study. Often times I even hear in various forums and I think people saying that, hey, I did prepare for the GRE myself and scored a 330. Yes, they are speaking the truth, absolutely no problem. But it is like saying that people who have not done any higher education ended up becoming the richest person, business person in India. We have only one such gentleman, we had only one such gentleman, which is Sri Dhirubhai Ambani. Not everyone without education can become that. But having a good education kind of increases your probability of success in life. The same holds good for GRE. There will always be legends, there will always be anecdotes of people who did self-study for GRE, who probably prepared 72 hours for GRE and scored a 330 in the GRE. There will always be such people, which is true. But for an average person, right? You need to invest anything between 150 to 200 hours into your GRE preparation. Can you study by yourself? Yes, there is adequate resources available on the internet, but the whole point is the search cost is very high. Sometimes you might get preparatory material in excess for an area and you might not get adequate in another area and that probably is the area where you need help. And you also will not have someone to help you out both in terms of doubt clearance and to handhold and walk you through the difficult times when your scores are not going beyond a level. You might get stuck at 162 in quant, you might be stuck at 148 in verbal. You want to push beyond that 162 to a 168 in quant and probably from the 148 to a 155 in verbal and that would probably get you a good admit and a scholarship. You need someone to analyze your test and tell you what happens, how it happens. So, pick a place where you can study with. It could be a physical classroom, it could be online classes, it could be pre-recorded classes, it could be one-on-one -on -one tutoring. The only thing is the investment that you make into it is a very, very valuable investment. Think of it, you are going to be doing an MS program in the US or Germany or anywhere and you would be spending anything from 30 to 70 thousand dollars to it. If you get scholarship, most of it would be written off for you. A good GRE score basically takes care of the 30 to 70 thousand dollars that you might have spent. Because of your GRE score, you have got scholarships and that basically pays for it. So, think of it as an investment to showcase how well you can do in the GRE and for that, you do not want to be searching to get material, you want to be investing that time in actual preparation. So, three things that you need to do is basically take a diagnostic test to understand the different types of questions in the GRE and where you stand. Second one, build a reading habit and do it judiciously every day. Third, pick a place to prepare for your GRE. 
right? Evaluate it very seriously. Try and see if you can get trial classes. Try and see if you can attend demo classes. You initially invest 10, 15 hours attending demo classes in different places to pick that tutor, that particular classroom, that particular course, which will make sense for you. Right. One size fits all does not work. Right. Visako runs classes, live online classes, Visako runs online courses. See if our teaching methodology, our course content makes sense for you. If it does, then take us, take a, our help and get going with your GRE preparation. Lastly, before you leave, get in touch with us through any of these social media handles. If you want to nudge through this reads, essentially follow us at Twitter, Visako GRE or on Instagram, Visako GRE. In both these places, we provide you with frequent nudges with good reading articles to boost your RC. Best wishes for your GRE preparation.